All right, we got Justin Coe up with the fusion for Wayne. Hey everybody, look, it's actually happened to me. Had a dumb thumb on the 480 and just smashed it to pieces. So if this happens to you, we're gonna go ahead and go over some build footage. Happen to do everything, so snap the boom. Lost all the linkages. Um, landing gear's gone. We're gonna get into it. We'll replace the main shaft, the spindle, blades, probably the tail belt and the tail shaft, and the tail blades. Stay tuned. Okay, first thing, you're gonna be dismantling the helicopter. So you're gonna get your trusty 2.5 millimeter. You're gonna get a hold of the nut in here so we can take the tail boom off and loosen these screws. This is the boom clamp. You are going to take a three millimeter. We're gonna loosen up the lower Jesus bolt. This Jesus bolt, because if it comes out, you're like, oh Jesus. So we're just gonna pull this guy. Nut is here. I have a little pan I put stuff in. Um and go around and disconnect the linkage. You have a bowling fly around here, maybe. You're gonna take a bowling plier, pop your links. Bowling plier is a good tool to have. That easy. That one's already off. We're gonna pop this one. Kind of do like a long spread on this. Come on like that you can pull it out of the way you just kind of take your linkage off here this one just popped off I'm gonna go ahead and change the servo horns too so let's see if you can see this we're gonna go ahead and leave the belt like it is and we're gonna pull this out so there's your main shaft main shaft and spindle will be um, in a minute here we're just doing uh, dismantling now getting rid of the old parts so you're basically gonna come in here and you're gonna unloop the belt. And then you'll see that you can replace the gear. The gear here is pretty whooped. So that's stripped. Um, the tail boom will now come out. And there you go. Came out of the boom. Well, it was already broken, so that was easy. Set that aside. We're gonna go ahead and we'll We'll fix up the tail rotor and make sure that the main the tail shaft is straight and all. Um, I'll show you how to do that. So now um, we notice there's a skid that's broke here too. Might as well take this uh, screw out. Try to get that out of there. And then I'll take this one off. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the skids now because it'll stand up already right here in front of me. <laughs> I'm sure you saw it before I did. Let's see here, pull in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this skid on. This is already locked tight in the holes. So I tend to just put my stuff right back on. Just a landing skid, doesn't need that much Loctite. So I'll go ahead and get it on. My friends call me Ken Miles because I'm fast at this stuff and it's all part of, uh, part of the game. I wasn't expecting to crash, but you know, it happens. So now your mainframe stands up. This linkage here is still on. I'm, again, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the servo horns here in a minute. We'll uh, do that magic on film. Um, 
So basically now you'll see that the, the frame here doesn't look so bad. I got to get this little piece out. This sometimes is a problem uh, when it when it breaks here. It's oh yeah, there's also a screw or there's a screw right here you have to loosen in order to get it out. Go ahead and just take it out. There's another one in the front. Remove a plug. Another plug. So kind of keep those in order for your fly bar system. Gonna go ahead and loosen it up. Just two go there, and then if we get lucky here. Oh man, come on. So we're almost there. Okay, so I took this uh, Allen wrench here and I hit it from the side and got it going. Take your boom out. So there's the clean brake on the boom. Okay, so now you're left with the frame, your boom's out, everything's clean. Look for anything else, that looks good. So next we'll move on to the tail rotor. Okay, here we go on the tail rotor. Basically, we're gonna have to get this fin off and we're gonna have to slide this basically this part of this um, tail assembly off so that we can switch out the boom. So get the right size wrench first of all. It's a two and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and go right to these ones that are in the boom, but line it up. And loosen these guys. I'm gonna flip it over. Let's see, there's also some right here. These are the clamps. I didn't let y'all see that. Boom clamp. Don't be afraid to work on your helicopter. You're gonna wanna know how so that you can do this quick if you're ever at an event. Something like I do. We do these events for fun and uh, sometimes we have a little bit of issues. So, not the heli's fault. You do have to do maintenance on your helicopters and check stuff out. I'm starting to wonder when the last time was that I actually did maintenance to this helicopter. So, it was time. So, here comes the boom. Sliding out. And go ahead and take your two millimeter. You can loosen this guy here. Oops, two mil. This is your boom clamp. The boom clamp should slide off here in a second. The boom clamp's now off. And the old boom off into the trash and then just kind of save parts I don't really throw everything away so I do have miscellaneous parts in my box I'll leave these here for the tail rotor there's a linkage rod organize your tools one more time you can take a brush and just kind of get all the dirt out of it And I can't believe I crashed at the RC Expo. Um, I was uh, nervous, I guess. So flying in front of people can be like that. It made me feel pretty stupid, that's for sure. So I thought I'd turn it into a positive and show you how to rebuild. Okay, so I finally found the tail fin. It's right here. It doesn't come with a bearing. We're going to press one out. Out of the old one. 
unless you buy a bearing. Would have been nice if they would have included it in the um, in the part here. Sometimes you can get a hold of it. This one we cannot. So, how will we get this out of here? We will have to block this. Sometimes I use my vice grips. You can make a little jig here. Take a vice grip. Stick this guy here. Open it a little. Now we're going to want to like get a socket the same size as that. size watch the so you can take this bearing here since it's roughly the same size our parts already messed up so so basically I got a Teflon hammer you're gonna use your little jig that's holding this up off the table here and we're gonna just slightly tap that bearing back in that we just took out of the other and flat and as you tighten that up too it'll help hold it in and it's nice and smooth and we're good to go so um this guy will go back on here in a minute uh, but first we're going to go ahead and uh, you're going to remove these this set screw here with the two millimeter wrench and when we remove this it's going to free the uh the tail shaft. My tail hit the ground pretty good, so since the tail rotor blades are are broken, um, it's pretty obvious that the uh, the tail shaft needs to be replaced. So um, we'll go ahead and just remove the pulley, and then you can pull this tail shaft out here in a second. Um, after I remove this screw, There's another set screw right here on the um, on the tail hub, and the hub is replaceable. I'm just pulling the whole screw out. I need to do that. And I could have got better traction with it if I would have left that pulley on for a minute here. So I'll probably just go like this. I'll show you. I'm gonna find that flat spot again. This, uh, kind of stuck on here. There it comes. <laughs> oh, the boy helis. So yeah, the, there's the, the hub. Actually, the uh, pitch slider, you'd call that. And then you can go ahead and pull this guy out. So I'm pretty good with memorizing stuff. It, it is, it, this is better than brain games. Um, some people play crossword puzzles, I don't. Um, we do memory with remembering how things go together. So here is the pulley. And then, you know, as this guy comes off here, there's also a little shim I use too. In this one. You can see there's a Flat spot there, flat spot goes back on the flat spot. Make sure that's the same, yep. So the pulley has a little area to sit. You can line this up better too as you put it back in the helicopter. But for now, let's just remember how the parts go together. So basically you've got your new tail shaft now and then take the belt and keep it looped through here and then stick yourself back in the hole on the bearing and uh, get it in there. So, oops. Imagine the fun they have at the factory, you know, I mean, 
building helis. So you guys have it pretty easy if you don't build in helicopters. But as you build them, you will learn it better. And uh, your flying will get better too because you'll have an understanding of how these helicopters work. So there's a new tail shaft in there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to set this fin on. And uh, we'll get this on here. Instead of jumbling around with screws and stuff on you, I think you can see how this is going to go back together. We'll use the screws we just took out. And we'll put them back in, and then we're going to slide the boom in. So stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, the boom is back on the helicopter, and the helicopter is looking a lot better now. It's uh, got a new tail fin. There's the bearing we pressed in, and there's your clamp back on it, and the belt looped around. Now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, main gear and the head. And then again, I'm going to change out these servo horns later. We don't have any right now, and I'm sure you get the idea. So, anyway, hard crash, looking better now. Well, this is going to be a quickie, guys. Cause I just made a huge mistake. Um, I was, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, so we're just going to go over what I just did. So basically we popped the links off. We took out the three millimeter bolt. Um, I dropped the main shaft and pulled the old main shaft out and we replaced it with a new main shaft. I'm already throwing the other, uh, the old main shaft is out. Um, it just got a series of holes in it. It goes right back in where the other one was. You have to loosen this two millimeter screw and this two millimeter or two and a half millimeter screw or two and a half. And then that lets this clamp go. The main shaft comes out, put a new main shaft in. I took two three millimeter wrenches. You go in here and you go over here. You should be able to break these free. They're only done with blue Loctite. Don't use red Loctite on these. You break them free. Um, I pulled out a new main, a new spindle out of a bag, and the spindle comes with new bolts. So there's one bolt stuck in the old one. Here's another bolt, and it comes with new um, washers, basically. These are for something else. Don't worry about these. And. Uh, comes with these new washers so use all those stick it right back in like the other one was it's uh, super simple and then you end up with this nice head heads complete smooth oh I am using I probably will end up using one of these 10 millimeter axle shims and what I do is I put it here for uh, on this bump that's on the main shaft and then Basically, what that does is tighten up the mesh uh, or the play, if there is any, um, for uh, the up and down movement on the main shaft. I don't, I don't like any on my helicopters. Some, some guys leave a little bit, so these are these are really thin. Uh, they're like a thousandth or something, and you can, you can stack two or use one. I'm only using one right now, and. Uh, the part number is Calandra Racing Concepts is the manufacturer, and then their CLN number 4740, uh, 10 millimeter axle shim. You can get these at A-Main Hobbies, I believe is where I got them. So there's some of those. So anyway, the head moves free, everything's replaced, and uh, oops, I gotta pop this follower arm on, and everything's popped on, and there you go, new head complete so we'll put that in a minute next will be this main gear so basically with the main gear you can see I stripped it hit the ground and probably part of the noise you heard so you since the the bolts are out we're you just go ahead and pull it I'm gonna Pull it off camera, okay. I pulled it off here. Just drop that. You can you can push this out or leave it in. I don't know, we'll just leave it in. That way you don't get confused. Take a, 
what is this? Two millimeter, two millimeter wrench, and you're just gonna you're gonna loosen up all these screws and take them out, and kind of like just kind of leave them there for a minute. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. So just drop your screws. And then this guy right here, you're just going to have to push. How does this one come out? No, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's this way. You push it out. And then again, so you don't get confused, just grab the new one now. And then you'll see that this dish part fits in here. So see, lines up with the holes. And you get pre-lined up. There it goes, boom dropped right in so then you take these screws that you just had it's probably a good idea to put some loctite on these you are going into metal so just a little dab do you don't want your gear flying off that would be bad so let's see sometimes it's a little hard to get lined up with the first one so you can take your wrench here and kind of Get it wiggly in there. Okay, there, that wasn't too embarrassing. Okay, there's the first one. So then <coughs> I go uh, diagonal to each other. So another little bit of stuff on there. You good, come out, whoa. Sometimes it helps just to go like this and go and put a little on the plastic and then you can just dip it. And then boom. There's another and then dip dip. And then they don't need to be screaming tight. Um <laughs> what did I do with the rest, guys? Did you see where they went? <laughs> Um, yeah, so now I'm missing two. Jeez. I swear, sometimes this place is haunted. Where are they? Oh, yeah, they're over here. Dershka. So they're over here. Everybody does it. So I'm not even going to edit that. So watch this do it. I feel like a dip too because it was right in front of me okay so now your main gear is done and you just kind of go in a star pattern here and tighten these if you go diagonal from each other you will get this straighter we'll tighten this one look at that all brand new in gear so now if that's in, you can take this here, you line them up, and now your main gear is done. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Isn't that nice? Nice helical cut gear. Spins freely. Okay, it's going to be main gear and main shaft time. You've got your gear all assembled. You've got your pulley on top. The pulley sits upright on this helicopter. I'm going to show you that my belt is coming through here. If I pull on the top, it pulls the, the, the rotor clockwise. So I know that my belt is straight in here. Um, basically, you're going to take that belt and you're going to turn it towards yourself. And you're going to insert it in the pulleys. So 
Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. I'm gonna pull on it and I'm going to turn it so that it sits inside of the pulleys, not outside the pulleys. I've heard some of you guys try to do that and no. So it's turned towards me. I'm gonna simply uh, take the wrench out and try not to move my pulley so that I can line up my gear. So this guy comes in over here. Verify I'm coming in the right side because I don't even remember. <laughs> Maybe we can go on either side. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt, as you can see. Pull the belt over here. Now we're going to go around. And my belt is also, or my, let's see here. What is going on here? So what I could have done is left the boom loose because for some reason we don't get enough um, movement back here. So what will I do? Let me see if I can pull on it from this side here. Probably not. There it goes. Okay, here we come. Got it. So you're just going to have to loop this over, kind of work it in there. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a struggle, but there you go. I did not have to loosen those. Don't complain yet. Okay, so now with your, um, with your wrench, you might be able to get your screws lined up again. Let's see, get your holes lined up. And verify that your tail rotor is turning the right way. Tail rotors on these go counterclockwise. Um, is that counterclockwise? Yes, that's counterclockwise. <laughs> I'm not the greatest teacher. Never said I was. Okay, so you're just going to remember that shim is on here this time. And we're going to go ahead and try to line up this hole by um, sticking this down here. And then once I remove my wrench, my Allen, I'm gonna try to set this in here with the Allen in it for a second. Ancient, old ancient tr Chinese tradition, trying to, I gotta say, there it goes, okay. So you'll see that I'm started and then I've got my wrench here, my Allen, I guess you'd call it. And then what we're going to try to do is pull it out and then slide this guy in and look. Okay. So now without moving, hopefully. Come on, guy. So my wrench is just a little short. <laughs> I'll take my three actually and get it lined up perfect. Three millimeter wrench. Oh. oh, there it is. It's right in front of us. It's in the tray. Okay. Trying to hold everything and film and do all this at the same time is not easy. So hopefully you guys are learning something today. Okay. Your head's on. To put your anti-rotation bracket in here again i'm leaving my servo horns loose right now or yeah taking those off right now so i put that shim in and it fit good and there's no slop up and down my helicopter doesn't have anything can't hear nothing this is nice and smooth i want to make sure everything's free flowing and everything works and then when you turn it when i'm turning the head clockwise the tail rotor spins counterclockwise and that's where we did that belt flip I showed you you know the belts in there this way and then you just simply it's it's rotating like this because the pulley it's it's you know you got that belt on top of one another and then you just turn it towards yourself and then set the gear in there and you're done so that's all fixed brand new helicopter can't even tell I'm still thinking about it though. I, I haven't been 
<laughs> feeling very good since I crashed and oh man it's a mental thing you, you just it's like it takes the wind out of you or something so anyway it's looking way better I'm waiting for a canopy in the mail and um, I think that's it really I had everything else I had a set of blades and stuff so the rest of the helicopter I mean you can figure it out it, it's I'm only going to change out the uh, the servo horns here to something metal. This one of these is stripped. The the one of the plastic servo horns from hitting the ground. So we'll fix that and I'll be back up in the air. Uh, I can check my pitch and my cyclic before I fly and verify that everything's working. Okay? Hope you liked it. Thanks a lot. And uh subscribe to Kosho 619. Thank you.